Good day, brothers and sisters. This is Steve Sandoval, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today we are blessed to reflect on two beautiful stories of healing. This is coming from Mark 5, verse 21 to 43. Our Gospel reading today tells us of a woman who has had hemorrhage for 12 years, bleeding. It also tells us of Jairus, a synagogue official, whose 12-year-old daughter died before he could bring Jesus to his home to heal her. In both of these situations, the main characters, the woman and Jairus, both felt insignificant and unworthy of Jesus' attention. The woman having a bleeding uh, situation was impure to those around her and anyone who would touch her will also become unclean. So she has been living in isolation while Jared, whose daughter had died, felt like he People were saying he's wasting the time of Jesus because she has died already and to touch her would, would make Jesus unclean. So both were feeling insignificant and that they were not worthy for even the Lord to, to attend to them. But as we know in this story, the results where that woman suffering for 12 years had been healed by just touching the hem of Jesus' clothing. And Jared, despite his daughter dying, when Jesus asked her to stand up and serve them, she stood up and was alive once again. What? A wonderful turn of events for both of these people who felt desperate and thought everything had been lost. A significant lesson that Jesus teaches us is that we should always know that God is in control and that He has a plan that will bear fruit Many times, we only look at the external circumstances and we become hopeless. But God sees every aspect, both the internal and external. For example, notice the mention of 12 by the Gospel writer, a detail that people involved in both situations would not have noticed. The woman had been suffering for 12 years. And the daughter of Jairus was 12 years old. This is not a coincidence. And biblical scholars say that the number 12 signifies perfection because 12 is the product of multiplying 3, which is a number that uh, signifies the divine, three persons in one God, and 4, which signifies the earthly. The writer seemed to be pointing that God is aware of how this situation is unfolding. And he knows Jesus will use it to teach a lesson to his disciple. That he is in control and even a bad situation could give way to giving God glory. Now how do we apply this lesson to our life? One application I reflected on is the situation that I'm experiencing in our parish where we are all allowed 30% capacity in our parish church. The parish council then discussed designated social distance seating arrangement and they enacted the practice of disinfecting efforts every after mass. The parish even provided seats outside of the church for those who are above 65 who can be outdoors together with mothers who have their children in socially distant uh, 
sitting space. At least they can see uh, the church and the and and our lay ministers can go out to give them communion. But despite all this, many who fear infection to the virus and uh, have not been going, and so we don't even reach thirty percent. No, so during this pandemic, I, sometimes we may be tempted to think that we are insignificant and that God is not aware of our situation. But the gospel reading today assures us that God will protect us and desires what is best for us. We are not insignificant, but important in His eyes. He knows the pandemic situation. He wants us to come before Him in prayer. He is calling us to step forward, to touch the hem of His clothes to the sacrament in our parish church. Our parish priests have been calling out, inviting, come to the church, it is safe. Brothers and sisters, allow the Lord to inspire you at this time of the pandemic. Allow His grace to remove fear and anxiety in us. Come before the Lord. Ask Him if He is calling you to go back to receiving His sacraments of the Eucharist and reconciliation in your parish. May our Lord speak to you just as He the Holy Spirit inspired the woman and Jared to come before the Lord, to touch the hem of his clothes. God bless you all.